I'm here with Mark Tewksbury, Olympic champion and chef de mission. Did I say it right? You got really, really good. For the Lum London, and then I can't <laughs> say London. Okay, chef de mission for the London Olympics. What exactly is a chef de mission? I'm basically head of the Canadian delegation, so the 600 person strong team. I'm the guy that coordinates between the IOC, the organizing committee, and Team Canada. How much cooking do you do? <laughs> I'm a really good cook, but that's not part of my job, believe it or not. Best thing about competing in the Olympics? Being in the Olympics. Child, you know, most of us have this dream and it's a dream come, come to life. Where do you keep your gold medal? In a nice little suede sack that it came in with, there's three of them, there's a gold, silver, bronze, and they're all together, and they've been held by over a million people, so they're really nice and banged up and worn, and I love it that way. Favorite song on the radio today? Um, Call Me Maybe. That's that weird, that? I totally thought you were going to yeah, say that. Yeah, I just heard of the weekend, I was at a house party, everybody started dancing, and, and my partner's last name is Maybe, so I was like, yeah, ha, ha. Biggest pet peeve? Biggest pet peeve? Um, when you let somebody in in traffic and they don't just do that little like, hello, like, uh, I just want to go, Arr! didn't you see I was being gracious? Who are you most looking forward to meeting in London? Um, I'd, ha I'd, I'd have to say maybe William and Kate. I know that's kind of cheesy too, but you know, there's a chance. I have no idea if that will happen, but it'd be kind of cool. In the event that you were going to place a wager, who would you put your money on, you or Michael Phelps? Michael Phelps. <laughs> 20 years ago, it would have been me because he would have been like four. <laughs> but, you know, today it would be Phelps, no question. If you were to bet on a horse race, since you're not a better, how do you think you would bet? Um, I would probably go against the odds because I'm not going to bet a lot of money, but I'm going to try to win big on an outside shot. I like the underdog. I was at the Kentucky Derby in 2002 and had a lot of fun making $2 bets in Millionaire's Row. Think you could hit an exactor? An exactor? I um, no idea what that is. It's like picking who's going to get the gold and the silver in the exact oh, order. Oh, is that what it is in horse racing? Yeah. Oh, I'd be terrible at that, <laughs> for sure. So then there's no way you'll hit a superfecta? N a superfecta? No, I can't pick three if I can't pick two. That's four. I got oh! I I'm sorry! The <laughs> not the superfecta. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark Tewksbury, Olympic champion and chef de mission. Oh, another Go Canada Go. How about that? Go Canada Go. Go Canada Go. go.